Okie dokie. Well, morning, everybody. And time. And uh, this is gonna be another new PVP week for Gems of War. Um. So, but this time around, I thought what I'd go ahead and do is um. Actually, I record a video of me doing it. But first, I am gonna. For those that have never played this game before, um, this is by no means gonna be a completely comprehensive tutorial. But I, I at least want to show people just the basic skeleton of uh, how this game plays. About how the game works and all that. So, and then, um, and then after that, I'll go into I'll go into doing PvP proper. So, but uh, also in the background, um, at least for right now, I I typically play music when I do these. So, and this time around, I'm gonna have a uh, Final Fantasy Tactics tutorial music going in the background. Um, I've got it set to loop. Uh, I did a copyright check on it and it checked out at least for the moment. So, okay, so, um, let me just go ahead and, uh, pick this, uh, explore battles, I'll go with that, um, the mode here, explore, doesn't really matter much. And uh, I kind of cobbled together this team here to just want the least complicated that I can think of. So let's go to battle here. But it's a it's a match three, and the goal is to defeat your defeat your opponent's team. And uh, so you know you match colors and then. Depending on what their color, color or color requirements are, like it shows here in the upper left corner, four red mana he needs for to cast this ability here, deal 20 damage to the first guy. Um, this guy here, six purple mana to get his ability off. Oh, and uh, and then to show this here, because it's gonna make a big difference later on when I do PvP, but um. All characters have three traits. For the most part, most of them don't really matter much. <clears throat> Except this one here. Like, for example, gain bonus purple mana from purple gem matches. And then, and then uh, for guys like this, that have two or more different mana colors, either brown, in this case, either brown or blue, it don't matter. But he requires 11 mana, but again, either blue or brown, whichever of the two. And his, to get their spell off, so. And goblins, you're going to be hearing a lot more about these guys here later on. But, like, what up? Big time, go or the big... The big sell with goblins is every ability gains you an extra turn, which, speaking of that, when you're matching these, if you can match at least four, like in this case here, you'll get an extra turn. So... And it should also be mentioned here, too. Yeah, I don't have a... I only got that one there, but... Uh, each key... See, my guy here is a hero, and in, your heroes can equip weapons in this game. Like what I have here, the crew and club, again, deal 20 damage to the first enemy, and each hero can uh, choose a class as well. So like in this case here, this is the, I believe this is the one you start with when you first play this game. And, um, you know, you can't, you can't, uh, it doesn't show the medals in the, in the battle itself, but, um, you can also, uh, equip medals, you can also equip medals as well. Having a little problem with the English language, so, you know, in this case here, 10% chance to cleanse, that means remove all debuffs, each troop when my turn begins. That's really not what I'm after, but again, each, if, uh, for those that have played like Diablo 2, Diablo 3, 
World of Warcraft. It's a it's a talent tree. You know, each, every 10, 20 levels or whatever, you can choose one of three talents. Um, I might I might go into more detail on this later on, but right now I just want to show the basics. So, four match. There we go. So we match four, and then we pull up. I'm pulling the uh, I'm plugging the controller because it is uh, one of the one of the real beauties of this game. You can both use both the controller and mouse and keyboard interchangeably. Like right now, I'm using a controller. And uh, you can also, if you look on the left side of the screen, you don't have to actually click on the uh, click on the characters. Like, if I want to use a crew club, I can just hold down L1, push Y or triangle since I'm using a PlayStation controller, push X, and you can cast your spell. And uh, and let me do something else here too. I'm gonna go ahead and slow the animation down to 2x. That way, so uh, you guys can have an easier time seeing this. So. And uh, each, and then each time you make a match, that color mana, that color match you got, goes to whoever needs it. And for those. For those, uh, if you have two or more characters that need the same color mana, then it follows the trickle-down theory. The guy on the top gets the mana first, and then any excess mana goes to the next guy on the bottom. Oh, and, uh, I, I gotta mention this too. Skulls, if you can match at least three skulls, then, uh, you deal damage to the guy, or the guy on the top in this case, being him, is going to deal damage to the other guy on the top, the, the uh, guy on the other side, the guy on top. And you'll deal that damage equal to whatever number is here, the uh, attack rating or attack power or whatever they call it. So. Um... Oh, he's all full up, ready to go. Guy on the bottom. Six greens, deals 26 damage to an enemy and gain an extra turn. That shouldn't be enough to kill him with one hit. And again, an extra turn on top. And what I'm looking for really is actually purple. here in a second why I want to go after purple it's because of you know thrall here is an example of a mana generator destroy 25 gems um, when you destroy them as it says in the upper right corner you'll um, you'll remove 25 gems from the board and you get full mana from them So I can get that ability off. Feeling that. Oh. And out he goes. And then you get a whole bunch of currency and loot and all that. Um. So I'll go ahead and do another. Like this. This is the basics of the game right here. 
again. This guy here, you want to go after the purple matches first? Failing that then. Bye bye. So, one down, three to go. And let's do the same thing here. And here's a poor match. So, like I said, whenever you get a four match or a five match, you'll get an extra turn. Destroy 25 gems. Asher would be faster to just do that. That'll be enough to take him out. He got a four match, so he gets another turn. And he got some mana out of that, so. Alright, so we'll do. Cast that on him. Cast the club. Do it low. So. Okay. And yeah, that is a drawback to this game. You're going to get bomb boarding with microtransaction offers. So. But like I said, your, your hero character, he can equip a weapon, of which there are many, 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 many different types of weapons. Have all kinds of different effects in this game. Um, there's also there's also different banners you can equip that will give you mana bo mana bonuses or or penalties. Um, and also as said before, there's uh, many different classes in this game. Like my main one, elementalist, and then each one has a level. That increases your uh, your attack power, your armor. That is something else I forgot to mention too. Um, and then you have your magic rating. You have your magic rating, and then you have your life armor. And I'll try to explain it, but um, whenever you first take damage, it's gonna get taken from your armor first, then your life. But like I said. I'll, if I can remember to, I'll try to explain more about it later. But anyway, that's... That, um... And each class has level mastery, like... Oh, Mana Surge. That's something else I need to talk about. Um, elemental. Um, this class here is going to have the Elemental Hero type, which means any spells or abilities that affect elemental classes or elemental types will affect me as well. So. And, and like, like I said, there are many, many, many different types of uh, types of spell effects. You know, curse, deal damage, blah, blah, blah. blah. So... What, I think that was one of what I was wanting to show. There's, there's probably some more stuff that I haven't mentioned, but I, like I said at the start of this video, this is by no means a fully comprehensive tutorial. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to give people that have never played this game before a basic rundown of how this game works. Cause from here on out, I'm gonna turn the game speed up to the max. Oh, and uh, the, the badges up here. This is mostly for PvP. But there's many different types of badges as well. It's going to take a while. Yeah, it's going to freeze up a moment. You know, see, so you can... Extra starting mana. Extra attack. Four attack, life, and armor. But since I'm doing PvP, and do it the way PvP works, uh, this is pretty much pretty much mandatory to have when I'm doing, doing that mode. Um, daily tribute, or not? No, I think you get it like every eight hours or something like that. I can't remember. Over here, okay. 
Okay. Uh, now. So this is this is PvP. And then Okay, and there's uh there's actually two different types here. Um there's offense and defense. Offense is the, is the team that you're going to be taking in to defeat other players' teams. You're not you're not fighting them directly. You, what you're doing instead is you're uh, you're taking on the team that they chose uh, for defense, a defense team. But the main team that I like to use, I call it the Shrooms and Booms team. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail out of this quickly. But, oh, and uh, oh, here's something I also want to talk about. Mana surge chances. Every match you get has a percentage chance of giving you double the mana. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Oh, and um, the bonus mana. Remember the banners that I showed you? That's what's that's what you're gonna get out of this. Um, you'll get two extra two extra blue mana, one extra green mana, but minus one brown. But um, let me go ahead and do a rundown here. Um, this so this one here. Let me start here. The big one. Uh, yeah, stun, freeze, burn, and entangle. Um, or as I just like to call it, shutting down, shut down a random en enemy when matching four or more gems. Um, stun. Whenever you're stunned, all these traits are locked out, and if the person being stunned is the hero, meaning, meaning myself then I'm locked out of all of these as well. And, um, and like I said earlier, yeah, every turn, you're gonna have three 10% chances of uh, removing all debuffs that, uh, that I might have. But, I, but like I said, I'm, uh, I'm max level on Elementalist here, level 100. See, and uh, whenever, whenever an enemy hits me with skull damage, I'll stun them automatically. I can't be frozen. I'll explain that here in a moment. Doesn't matter much. Uh, barrier, mean, meaning um, barrier nullifies the next attack. That's very, very valuable for what I'm going to be going up against. Um, lightning strike, season to taste. Might be too late to do it, but I'll. But just remember what I said. Um, it's a talent tree system, like Diablo 2, World of Warcraft. Every 10, 20 levels or whatever, you can choose one of three talents. That's how this works. But there's a there's another one that gives you extra blue mana. I think extra green mana as well. I go with this one though. And then the big one, Fortitude. I'm immune to stun again. Stun meaning I'm locked out of these traits. Poison, damage over time, disease. Um, you'll uh, you'll generate half mana. Mana generation is cut in half for this for this guy. Death mark, 10% chance that you're gonna die instantly on your next turn. Uh, lycanthropy, I think it's 10% chance that you're gonna transform into another another uh, character. Uh, devour, it's an insta kill, but on top of it, your uh, your life. And I, your life, attack power, and I think your armor too is going to be added on to the person that devoured you. So, pretty mandatory to have in PvP because I'm going to be fighting a lot of opponents that's going to have these effects. So. But anyway, um, and it says and it says here in the middle too, I'm an elementalist, so I'm 
an elemental as well as a hero. So, like I said, the big one, again, stun, I just said it, freeze, means uh, you're prevented from getting extra turns. Uh, which I'll kind of explain a little more as it goes on, but burn, all that is, is just damage over time, entangle, it uh, reduces your attack power to zero, which means skull damage does zero damage, so... Um, freeze. There's actually a little bit involved in this. But... Alright, and now... I'm gonna go ahead and jack this up to four. So, that's why I wanted to do this little tutorial, because like I said, the game's gonna go pretty quick now. Oh, and five matches. They don't have... It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be a straight line. It can be like this. It can be a T-shape. Um, it can also be an L-shape. And it can also be a plus sign. So, just any combination of five. Oh, and then let me explain all the other guys. I guess... The only one that really matters here, this is King Gob Trump. Disease a random enemy when you're matching four or more gems. Again... It cuts their mana generation in half. It deals a small amount of damage, and you create a you create 14 green and brown gems. It's it's a random mix. Oh, and I also forgot to mention too, when it comes to, or in case you guys didn't notice earlier, um, whenever you're creating gems, destroying gems, they're chosen at random. There's no pattern to them. Like I said, uh, you create a mix of 14 green and brown, boosted by poison and diseased enemies, and as typical of all goblins, you get an extra turn. And this kind of goes back to what I said about Frozen. If this guy here, Gob Trumple, is frozen, he does not get an extra, this no longer gives him extra turns. And this, the team I have is very reliant on preventing your opponent from getting, getting, a, getting a turn. So, and with some of the teams that I'm going to be up against on, on this PvP here, I, it's, it's pretty much mandatory. So, like I said, um, creates green and brown gems, small amount of damage, and then Goblin Shaman. Doesn't, this stuff here doesn't really matter, so if he gets stunned, no big deal. Create seven gems, and I heal somebody at random, and again gains an extra turn. This is um, and this is a big one. Uh, probably one of the, at least in my mind, one of the most important, important uh, creep, one of the most important characters you can have in PvP. Um, Raji Queen, and um, I think my whole team except for the Shaman are all elemental. So nice little buff, little buff here. You start with half mana. Um, curse all enemies. To me, this is mandatory in PvP. Again, um, a lot of these enemies are gonna have—they're gonna throw some nasty shit your way. So, and also, they're also gonna be able to buff themselves big time. So, so cursing them, it removes all buffs they have, and it um. It also makes any uh, debuffs that you apply to them a lot harder to get out of. So, uh, it kind of says it here in the upper right corner. But uh, I'm also going to be fighting against a lot of enemies that are impervious. Or that are immune to certain status effects. And like I said here, it can apply to impervious troops as well. So, like I said, cursing, being able to curse enemies is pretty mandatory in PvP. Um... Oh, and I do, I do have some uh, more music on the way. I, just, I wasn't expecting it to take this long, but anyway. Um, converting all green gems to doom skulls. Um, you got regular skulls like this, and then you got doom skulls. They, um, they deal an additional five damage on top of whatever other skull damage you're applying to them. And it also blows up everything 
in an eight square radius around them. And I kind of need to explain a little of that too. There's a difference between exploding and destroying. Destroying gems just simply removes them from the board. But you get full mana from whatever got removed. Exploding gems, however, you only get half the mana. So it's kind of compensation for the fact that it it blows up everything around. It. And before I forget, um, there's also storms. Brown gems fall more than other colors, but there's many different types of storms as well. Basically, one for each kind of color. Um, it's not gonna show over here, not for a while. Yeah, there it is. Create an ice storm. After I use that, it's gonna it's gonna turn this into an ice storm, and more blue gems will drop. Which is gonna be pretty important because this guy uses them, this guy uses them, and this guy uses them. But as um as my mirror match here, he's immune to stun and frozen. I can't do anything else to him until I get a curse on. But it's best to wait. So, but I'm not going to use this ability right off the bat, converting all green gems to Doom Skulls. I want to wait until I can at least, the, until at least a combination of greens and skulls results in at least a four match. Like, I have a five match here. That's an L shape, so going for it. And now, here we go. And I got a four match here. And remember, each time I'm doing at least a four match, I'm studying, freezing, burning, and entangling a random enemy. Oh, and um, in case I don't explain this, I don't want to explain this later. But uh, as far as the random chance, it's very dumb. I, I put that in quotes, dumb. Um, so it'll even target an enemy that's completely impervious to debuffs. It'll, but it'll still go for him anyway. So, and I got a four match here, so casting Mirage Queen again. And, and same thing here, I got another four match. And there's the eight gems. Um, still a little leery, so, nope, so, yeah, so I'm going to have to blow the board again, and that's going to happen fairly often, too, I'll literally blow the entire board and not get a single four match out of it, so, Okay, so bottom guy, bottom guy down here is uh, silenced, as you can tell by this white circle. What that means is they can't cast spells and they can't even get mana either. Uh, they can still do four matches and stuff like that, but they're not going to get any mana out of it. So, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cast that. I'll cast it anyway. And he's entangled, so I don't I don't get, or I don't get the skull damage because it's entangled, but I will get the five damage though from the Doom Skulls. So. so not there. Oh, and also, whenever you blow up the board like I just did, if a skull is blown up individually then it deals two damage. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and end it. All right, mercy killing. So that's how that works. So, so that's gonna do it for that music. But yeah, like I said, I wasn't expecting this tutorial to go on this long. So I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna pull up a playlist now. I just kind of want to show this. Let everything settle. Okay, so the playlist that I'm going to play now, I think most, if not all the tracks, are going to be based on a probably one of my favorite games back in the back in the 90s or 2000s or whatever this game came out. Bully. It's got one of my all-time favorite soundtracks. So, I just cobbled together a few tracks from that game and just made a playlist out of them. So, so let me go ahead and uh, then uh, loop it. Okay, so now for the rest of this session here, this is going to be uh, pretty much repeat mode. Repeat all. Now, the way this, again, the way this works, um, you, can, you can do casual or you can do ranked. I always do ranked. Now, again, PvP kind of works differently here. You're not directly taking on an opponent, a human person. You're taking on a team that they've chosen to defend with. So, there's two aspects, offense and defense. Now, for defense, um, for the most part, the sky is the limit. And I've used a wide variety of them. But uh, the, team that I'm, the, the team that I like to use on defense these days is basically meant to be beaten. Um, you get extra gold from battle. So, what, and uh, his spell gained 20 gold, and they're all like this. So, but, um, there's other kinds, too. Um, there's, sometimes I like to put that up. Nothing but peasants. Like I said, you don't, so, the team you're using it for attacking, you don't have to use for defense. This is that. This is also a pretty common one too for defense. This is actually meant for uh, newer players, for lower power players. Uh, just all four fire bombs. Just need four red mana. Explode four red gems. Deal damage to a random enemy and destroys himself. Boom. So this is another one that's um. Uh, you're actually meant to beat this team. All you have to be able to do. It survived the 26 damage. So, theoretically, if you have at least one character that has a combined health and armor total of uh, 104, if my math is right, then you can survive this team. So, but, but personally, come on, scroll up. Oh yeah, and there's this one here. Once in a while, I like to use this one. Yeah, you don't get, yeah, you don't get that good of a view. There you go, fan service. So yeah, sometimes I'll post this one up. Oh, I'll use this for defense just for the sheer hell of it. Not this time. That's the one I use on defense. Anyway, let me go ahead and get started. And this is going to be a tough one. This is one this is uh, one character that can shut me down. The bottom one, Royal Honey, clean, basically cleanses all debuffs, so she's got to be stunned ASAP and to say nothing of the fact that Scatter damage is damage that's uh, randomly distributed. Um, true damage, however, it uh, ignores armor. It goes straight to your life. So, 
But like I said, tough battle. That's one I have to go up against. Frozen wouldn't cleanse, so... And also expect a fair amount of retreating from battles, too. That's another thing I like about this game. Well, how about that? Fell off. And it didn't get my surge. And using my controller. And I'll be using my controller most of the time. And um, I'll also be hunting for four and five matches as well. Alright, so didn't get anything, so gotta blow the board. Damn, I'm trying to get off. I do need to do a sound check on this, make sure it's not too loud or too quiet. Um, I think I could probably turn it down a little bit. There's a five match. Okay. Alright, the boat's up. So, there we go. Got a five match right here between greens and skulls, so casting that, boom. And got another one over here. So, once again. And I'll just go ahead and only nine life left. Just gonna go ahead and issue the coup de gras. So, so the goal is to go from tier 15 all the way to tier one. I'm gonna take another drink here. And uh, for, and you can also say that was fun to your opponent. Um, I'm most likely to do that on teams that use, uh, firebombs, um, like the team that I just showed you, the one with all, uh, they're all treasure, the all treasure team. I'll, um, I'll give them a, that was fun. It's my way of, uh, tipping them, giving them a tip. Thanks, nice, because basically they're giving you free wins. And I almost always pick the one on the right which is always the harder one. Um, that one there shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, we got a five match. But, uh, but a big thing about my group is I have to be able to get this off ASAP. Because... I gotta get out of that dust storm and get into an ice storm so more, more blue jumps will fall. And if, and if I can't do that soon enough, depending on the opponent I'm facing, I might just go ahead and bail. Okay, boat's up. So. Nope. There we go. Another five match. Boat's up again. So. Oh, I need to I need to mention these two. These kind of tiles, these kind of gems here, like this one here, is an evil one. If you could blow it up, 
um, it'll send a, a random debuff to a random enemy. There's also a, a good gem as well. That'll send a random buff to a random ally. I managed to take that. Kind of jostle the board a little bit. And we got a we got a plus sign right here. So boom. And we can do it again because we got another four match. And this is one of the reasons and when it comes to MVPs, I don't care. Because a lot of times, it's usually pretty off, and really, the MVP should have been the Mirage Queen, the, the bolt. Not not the Goblin Shaman that didn't... that just put out some green gems. Like a team like this, this is what I'm using right now for defense. If I was to beat this team, I would, uh, I would give them a bun. Again, it's by way of uh, it's by way of giving them a tip because again, they're giving you a free win. Is what they're doing. forget to mention at the start of this video a um, little bit of history on me playing this game I used to play this fairly often um, enough to have racked up about I'd say about a thousand hours a thousand hours of playing this game so I was into this pretty heavily um, I went a hiatus for a while it just kind of got burned I mean, a thousand hours yeah surprise surprise but I'm starting to make a comeback, but now I'm to wear off. This is the most time that I want to spend playing this. Uh, just during the uh, weekly reset. After that, I only play this for like maybe 15 or so minutes. Just to do a little bit of maintenance on PvP. So it's pretty much the only mode I care to do now. Another turn. There he goes. And once again, whenever you blow up a skull individually, it deals two damage. Um, but if it's a doom skull, it, it deals uh, seven damage. <laughs> oh, I got defeated. This is going to be a tough one. So, if I bail out of here early, don't be surprised. In fact, uh, I might be able to give you a super quick rundown of how it works. And it looks like my... Uh, one of my goblins got frozen and none of these... Uh, none of these metals went off, so it didn't cleanse. So... And again, one big thing about goblins is they get an extra turn, but he's he's been effectively shut down. Because again, this is a this is a team that relies on preventing your opponent from getting any turns. Or if they do, they're not going to be able to attack with much. So don't be surprised if I bail out here early. And what what this team has, it's all about skull damage. A lot of gem transformation. Red gems to skulls, green gems to yellow. 
purple gems to red, brown gems to skulls, and he can, uh, he can bless two allies, which means they're immune to debuffs. The only way to get the, the only way to get that bless off is you have to curse them, which is why I have to have that in there. And this one here is gonna totally mess up my arrangement. Gets up, gets rid of all armor and pulls them up to the top, which means I have to use my mouse only because uh, with my controller, I've got it. If they're jumbled up. I'll end up uh, casting the wrong ability and totally shoot myself in the foot, so. And elementalist like me and level 100. So. And this is another one. Um, can be pretty problematic. Starts battles with full mana. So right off the bat, he's going to convert all blue gems to yellow, which screws me over. Heals the whole group. And, bless, and blesses the guy on top. So, like I said, if I kick, I have to maintain momentum on you. Or if my opponent starts getting any momentum, I'm going to have to bail because I won't have a chance. And, um, kind of, a, kind of a side note, I don't, I would rather, um, I would rather, how, would, oh, how can I put it? I would rather deal with, I would rather take a quick loss than have a long, drawn-out win because Stuff like this, this is basically farm content. I'm just trying to get my tier to number one. So I'm not pushing progression. Um, this isn't no major tournament. There's not 10,000 real Amer real world dollars on the line or anything like that. It's just, it's farm content. So it's better to just, it's better to just, you know, take a quick loss than have to sit here and get a fight tooth and nail for that one win. one cleanse and she's blessed okay again oh also I forgot to mention about frozen it's it's not really your your character that's frozen it's the colors they represent so so blue and red are now locked out are now frozen so if I do this four match it won't count. Your opponent will still get a turn, so I'll just do that and do that five match instead. Got one down in the lower right corner. She's cursed, so that gets rid of the buff. That takes the buff off of her. Okay, I gotta check something. No, I set the playlist to loop. So let's try that again. The way debuffs work, um, every turn there's a cumulative 10% chance that it'll fall off on its own. Uh, but by default, I just say 10 turns. You know, so just because RNG, you know, first turn 10%, RNG rolls a 99. Second turn 20% chance, RNG rolls a 99. You know, and so on and so forth. So my mind I plan on them being all debuffed for 10 turns so got brown so let's get out of that into the ice storm they gotta turn anyway cause frozen close 
They're all deep. And on top of that, Frozen only applies to colors that you can actually use. So, if say you got a, if nobody in your team has blue, then they can sit there and just keep getting blue four matches all day. It, it only works. It only works if uh, if you have characters on your team that can actually use that color. So, let's go ahead and do that. That's fine. Yay! They finally fell off. my way out of that. Oh, I've never seen that top one before. I'm gonna take another drink. Quite work. Okay, so the top guy is debuffed, so he can't deal with skull damage to me. Got it. Boom. I need to get out of the light storm anyway. Get into my ice storm. Got lucky. Whoops. You're not quite there. I'll just go ahead and do that. Got it. And again. one might take a little but this is also this is also this team here is one of the reasons why I have a treasure team on defense I'll, I'll try to create two skulls when the turn begins he's got three great worms so six skulls are gonna pop up on the board every single turn I'm uh, not really gonna matter much because that's not what it's about. Web spinner. Due to the way this works. Uh, if you look at snare, you inflict web first. And then you're dealing the skull damage on top. Or you're inflicting web first. And then you're dealing uh, triple skull damage to poison and webbed enemies. Like I said, due to the way this this, this one works, you get web first, and then you get uh, dealt the triple skull damage af afterwards. Um I've tried various groups against this. None of them really work. So, and I'm, I'm what, a, you know, and I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other players see this group, and they're gonna be like, "Fuck that," you know, up and off they go. So, not. This is one of those teams that you pick when you're absolutely anal about your win percentage. You just gotta have like zero losses. Because, like I said, I can't really see a whole lot of other teams going up against this. The most you could hope for is if, uh, again, if I uh, if I can keep my opponent from getting a turn, then yeah, 
Um, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll just go ahead and give it a go. I'll to show you what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to need a four match out of this. Like I said, I have to be able to shut him down. And I didn't get a search, so... Already, I lost my top guy. So... And, yeah, and, um... Actually, let me try this. Training battle only, yes. So... Yeah, and I'm kind of going a little over long on this. I was not expecting the last... Expecting to take this long. I almost should have just streamed it, but. So, the most you could hope for since. As an elementalist, whenever I match brown gems, I gain a barrier, which nullifies the next skull attack, or the next attack. So. But what happens now is, I'm basically forced to scramble for uh, either skulls or browns now. On the upside, though, he is stunned, so he's gonna be—he's just gonna be dealing skull, regular skull damage, but not triple. But. Brown, so I have no, I have no way of putting a shield up. Smack, so about to go. Luckily, Stunned them both, so. But anyway, anyway, you kind of get the idea, though. Fact. Uh oh, we're freezing up. But again, let's give her, let's give it another go. But you kind of saw what happened there, though. Like, my top guy got taken out, like, immediately. But again, it, I'm, unless I can do that, get some four and five matches and keep it my turn. Okay. So... So he's pretty much been stopped. So, well, let me go ahead and bail out of that. I mean, it, it's just a training battle. But it, but once again, I there has to be a way to keep it my turn, or I have to hunt for brown gems or skulls and wooden cleanse. So. Right off the bat, I got, I got green, so I have to take it. Ten turns. I have to do it. There's one. So I need, and uh, I need to have blues and yellows to get my get my game going. Nothing I can do. Okay, finally fell off. But now, yeah, 
I have to be able to blow the board ASAP. So, get all the shit out of there and make a nice storm, which means more blooms. Just gonna jostle the board a little bit. I'm gonna have to blow it again. There. I think I just blew literally the entire board. So. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Silenced anyway, there we go. Nope. No dramatic finish for Joe. So. so we're just gonna skip that. Ah, and this is an almost classic uh, goblin line up here. Or yellow, so I have to go with browns. There we go, there's one. Actually, there we go. Uh, okay. Got a firestorm. Go, go ahead and blow the board. Nope. This could be a retreat right here. I think this is going to be my last battle, so probably, uh, I'll probably end up having to kill the video right here. I was not expecting it to go on this long. Okay, um, but that's gonna do it for me. Um, like I said, I was not expecting this uh this session to go on this long, so. But I'll probably keep plugging away on PVP. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll keep plugging away on PVP when I'm out outside of this video here. So, but like I said, I just wanted to do a tutorial, and um, I was hoping to do a whole complete, whole a whole complete PVP run from 15 all the way to tier one, but it didn't happen that way. Otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, but until then, though, thanks again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.